All right, so I've recently just put together this um, funny playing Game Boy Color, the FP GBC, um, and I was testing it out. I wanted to see what kind of features it had that were different from a regular Game Boy Color. I mean, it's modded, but it's a regular, it's an original Game Boy Color. Um, and I wanted to see what the differences were. Uh, obviously, the screen is larger. Um, there's, it just looks a little bit different. The PCP looks different. Um, and you get, you have like these options when you click in the volume button there, you have these options and you can uh, do different stuff to it, um, including changing the clock speed. Um, on here, it's down as much as it'll go. So if I press A, it goes up, press B, it goes down. And it's gone down as much as it'll go. Um, and I'll save it, hit OK. And uh, I noticed that even when that clock speed is turned all the way down, uh, it seems to be clocked just slightly faster than an original Game Boy Color. Um, I've, I can notice it when I uh, go into the Pokemon Center on, on uh, this Pokemon Crystal over here and Gold over here, um, and I've swapped the games too, and it does it regardless of which, regardless of the game, it always does, it always seems like it's clocked slightly higher, but um, on the, on the FPG, FPGBC, um, but if I go into the Pokemon Center at the same time on both games, I notice that uh, this one gets slightly ahead in the song. The song that's playing gets slightly ahead and then continues to get further and further ahead. So I wanted to see if I could show that uh, on video here. I think it should work since this phone has stereo mics. Uh, but I'm going to turn it up on both and then we'll see if we can hear hear it getting uh, faster on this one when, I, when we go in to the Pokemon Center on both at the same time. So let me turn this up. Turn this up a little more. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go in there and then put the phone next to the speakers and see what we get. Let's see. Okay, so it's definitely doing it. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell from that video or not. I'll listen back and see if it does it. Uh, but it definitely is doing it. It's slightly faster on here. Um, and I'm just, I guess, I don't, uh, I, I'm not on the newest firmware, but I didn't want to do it just yet because based on what I'm seeing uh, on the GitHub here, uh, Mako seems to indicate that um, they're... The changes are unknown over the current firmware that I have. Um, so I'm wondering, maybe that's something that is different. If it is, uh, maybe I'll test it here and see what happens. And maybe I'll let him know if that's what's going on. But um, I figured I'd just record this just to see. Uh, or maybe ask a question or just, I don't know, record what's happening. Just in case um, I can get some answers. So, yeah. All right, thanks. All right, update. <clears throat> so... I updated the firmware to, uh, now it's version 1.02, and by the way, this is, uh, this is the 1.1, version 1.1 board, uh, in this, uh, FP GBC, um, so, yeah, ju just, so that's known, um, so I updated the firmware, and I found out, uh, on the old firmware, the clock speed changer here wasn't actually doing anything. Because now, uh, if I if I change it, uh, so this is like regular 100% as it should be, and you can go up or down with it. So you can you can hear what it sounds like. You know, it sounds normal, like uh, I think it's Lavender Lavender Town. Uh, but if I go and decrease it all the way, you can tell it gets way slower. So that's definitely doing something now, uh, but I'm going to go back up. I think it's like one down from the top is, is what it was originally set at. Um, 
and that's like you know 100% is what it should be and it can go to like 125 or something but uh, I noticed that even even with the update also by the way be very careful about updating it I thought I bricked it um, I, I used the the firmware uh, that uh, Mako had uh, I downloaded it from here from his github I downloaded it a couple times it, I'm using the right one the one that he has here and it was just not working for me it was like glitching the screen out causing it to like be really pink and just not working anytime i tried it wasn't working but luckily you can continue to try and update the firmware um he talks about it in his video but uh you know just i guess be careful what i ended up doing was going to funny playing's website funny playing's website and downloading it from them um and extracting it uh through 7-zip because that's i guess it's a 7-zip um, file, but anyway, I downloaded the update .bin, put it on there. That one didn't work the first couple of times either, so I had to, you know, try and reflash it a couple of times. Finally, it worked. I was able to get the game to boot up. All that to say, it's still slightly ahead. Um, so if I do it here again, if I do the Pokemon Center. So yeah, I think you could probably tell. Um, I listened back to the video and it, it, I was able to tell there was, you could tell it on the video. But anyway, that might be something that they can look into. It's not, it doesn't seem to really affect much at all, honestly. Like it feels, the game feels the same. It doesn't feel any different. Um, it may affect some games, I guess, but uh, not the not Pokemon, it seems. I was able to trade, uh, trade Pokemon between these two, uh, real Game Boy and then the FP... FPGBC, um, so that worked. Uh, obviously, maybe it's not obvious, but this doesn't have the IR sensor. It has a cover for it, but there's no LEDs in there, um, so you can't do like a mystery gift or anything if that's something you were wanting to do. Um, but overall, it seems pretty neat. It's cheaper, you know. You can get a all this hardware, you know, it, for for way cheaper. You can get the backlit screen. Uh, it's like a louder speaker with like more bass. Uh, you get the battery. It comes with a pre-trimmed shell for USB-C charging. Uh, it's overall, if you're just trying to get a backlit Game Boy with USB-C charging, and you don't super care that it might be slightly higher clocked, or you don't care about like any of these other features that it may have in here, um, it's like it's an incredible deal. Honestly, it's like seventy bucks uh, or like. I guess 80 if you get the shell, which I guess you really need to get. But, yeah, it seems like a really good deal, honestly. Uh, at some point, I'll, I'll want to try modding it so it has, like, you know, different color buttons and LEDs and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, I just figured I'd make a video about that. It's been a while since I made a video. I just wanted to... Just something new. Uh, figured I'd take a look at. But, yeah. I guess uh, let me know if you have any questions for it. If you know what maybe I can do about the fact that it's slightly higher clocked. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, have a good one.